Hey guys, it's your boy Jay Coles, kicking off the new year with my new blog, bisonguru.com. So on here, I'm gonna be talking about a range of things from politics, finance, pop culture, music, you name it, I'll talk about it. So this first video today, I wanted to talk about a topic that just dominated the end of 2017's news cycle, and that's Bitcoin. What is it? Is it a scam? Is it a fraud? Is it a Ponzi scheme? What is it exactly? So this video is to answer that and kind of dispel some uh, rumors or just false information that's out there. What is Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is a digital currency, which means that instead of being in a paper form, it's only in a digital form. You can only move it through a phone, tablet, or computer. Bitcoin is also known as a cryptocurrency. Now let's break that down. Crypto meaning that it can be moved securely, hidden in a secretive way, and currency, a medium of exchange, a store of value. So the three things, in my opinion, that constitute what make a currency are, a currency has to be traded in a pair, it has to be traded on an exchange, and it has to be backed by a government. So now let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is traded in pairs, and what do I mean by that? So, if you travel to Europe, for instance, once you give a US dollar, you're going to receive back a EUR or a Euro. So, it's traded in a pair. Same thing with Bitcoin. If you give USD, US dollar, you'll receive back BTC or Bitcoin. So, traded in pairs. Second thing, it's traded on an exchange. And uh, the real world or Forex market where um, currencies are from countries are traded, that's done in a market called Forex, foreign exchange. Trillions of dollars, multinational companies, I won't get into it, I'll make a separate video about it, but th that's where that exchange is done. In digital currency, some of the popular exchanges are Binance, uh, you have Coinbase, GDAX, Cryptopia, uh, Bittrex, there's a number of them out there. So, it's traded on an exchange. Third thing, is it backed by a government? So, whereas, USD is backed by Federal Reserve. Bitcoin is not. However, Bitcoin is backed by, in my opinion, the technology that creates it, which is called blockchain. The value of Bitcoin, again, relies in the technology behind it. Technology that is literally going to change the world as we know it. So think of it as Internet 3.0. The most simple explanation I can give for what blockchain technology is, is think of multiple computers that have the same information, and if someone tried to, to try to manipulate or hack one of those computers, the other ones in that chain would recognize that, hey, what we have doesn't match what this person has, so we've got to kick them out or correct what's on that ledger. And so it it's almost like a foolproof, hack-proof system that people are really excited about because there are a number of applications that this could apply to. And just think about it, I mean, just in the last couple of years, think about how many companies and governments have been hacked. So this potentially could um, solve that. Bitcoin is here to stay. Thank you so much and never stop learning.